Hi everybody and welcome to the University of Rhode Island College Algebra Enhancement video series. In this video we're going to be talking about how to factor special products. By special products, there's, there's three that we're going to focus on here. And the first is called difference of squares. So the idea here is if you have some quantity, we'll call it x, x squared minus some other quantity squared, this can be factored very nicely into the form x plus y times x minus y. Now x and y can be anything. They can be numbers, they can be expressions, um, and we'll do some examples where we, where we show how to actually factor um, various things of that form. The second equation uh, is the difference of two cubes. Uh, so we're, you have a quantity cubed minus another quantity cubed, and that factors into this form here. Okay, and again, we'll, we'll be doing some examples. And the final one is called the sum of two cubes. So again, we have this, this equation. Now these three equations are definitely equations that you would like to commit to memory. Uh, they come up a lot in pre-calculus, calculus, and beyond, and it's good to have them uh, as a tool in your toolbox um, for a lot of different uh, applications that you're going to do. Okay, so let's do a couple examples here to illustrate how this works. So here's uh, example one, and it's the only example we're going to do. Uh, it's Let's factor the following. So part A, we have x squared minus 100. So we notice that this has the form, and I'm going, to re I'm going to rewrite it for our purposes here. This has the form x squared minus 10 squared. Okay, so if we think back to our, our equations, here's the equation for the difference of squares. I'm going to leave it at the bottom here, so you'll see it down here. Um, if we look at this form, this is your x, and this is your y. So we know that the, the difference of squares, when we factor this, this expression is going to equal the first, that's x plus 10 times x minus 10. Okay, so this would be the factored form for x squared minus 100. Now the beauty of this is that we can always check our answer, so you can distribute this back out using the, distribu the distributive property, and you'll see that you get x squared minus 100. Alright, now let's look at the second, the second uh, problem here, part b. I'm going to rewrite this, and this is kind of a little trick and a little technique that you need to be aware of. I can rewrite this as 2x, all of that squared, minus 3y squared. Okay, so it's a little trick to rewrite that. And then I find that this is your first term, that's your x per se, and this is your second term, that's your, your y. So using the formula, this is going to be equal to the first minus that second times 2x minus 3y. Okay, again we're just applying the formula here. So this is what would be considered x from our equation, and this is what would be considered y from our equation. Don't get confused by the, the repetition here. Again, you can distribute this out to see that it gives you 4x squared minus 9y squared. Alright, so let's look at how to factor x to the fourth minus 1. Again, this is a difference of squares, so we're going to rewrite it so you can see more clearly. This is x squared squared minus 1 squared. You're going to have to learn some techniques to rewrite uh, these things so that you can actually see the formula uh, and see the form to so know that it's a difference of squares. So we see that this is the x from your equation and this is the y from the equation. And we apply the equation directly, x squared plus 1 x squared minus 1. You might think you're done, uh, but if you see here, this is another difference of squares. So we have x squared plus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 1. So for this difference of squares, the x is your x term from your formula, and the 1 again is your y. So there we have it. That's the fully factored form for x to the fourth minus 1. Now let's move on to uh, z cubed minus 27. And again, what I'm going to do here is give us the give the formula that we had from slide one. So you'll see that at the bottom of the page here. Uh, this is a difference of cubes. So we see that z plays the role of x from the formula. And 27, we can rewrite this. This is z cubed minus 3 cubed. So the z plays the role of the x and the 3 plays the role of the y. And then we can apply the formula directly. So we notice there's two sets of parentheses. So we have z minus 3. Then we have z squared 
plus 3z plus 3 squared, which is plus 9. Okay, so again, we're applying this formula directly where we're letting the x be z and the y be 3. Okay, and we can always check that this is the correct factored form of z cubed minus 27 by distributing it out fully. All right, we have one more example. Let's look at the following, 27x to the third plus 8. So again, rewriting is critical. And here, we can rewrite this as 3x cubed, and 8 is 2 cubed. So at the bottom of your screen, you'll see the equation for the sum of 2 cubes. Uh, in this case, we're going to let x from the equation be 3x in our case, and y from the equation is 2 and then we just apply it directly. So we have uh, x plus y, so 3x plus 2, times x squared, which is 3x all squared. Notice my use of the parentheses, that's very important. Minus 3x times 2, plus uh, y squared, which is 2 squared, or 4. And then we're just going to simplify things and clean it up a little. So we have 3x plus 2, and then here, 3x squared, the square is going to apply to the 3 and to the x as well. So that becomes 9x squared. 3x times 2 is uh, minus 6x. And then we have plus 4. So this is the fully factored form for 27x to the third plus 8. And again, you can check it by distributing. So as you're learning these things, guys, make sure to check your work um, anytime you factor. All right, I'll see you next time.